Hi, I'm Ruth Frances Long, the author of The Treachery of Beautiful Things, in which our hero Jack undertakes a very dangerous journey into our world. He arrives in an ancient landscape and takes a pathway through some of England's oldest sites. Jack arrives at Dragon Hill, reputed to be the site where St George killed the dragon. The bare patch of chalk on top is said to be the place where the dragon's blood spilled. It faces the White Horse of Uffington, a stylized prehistoric hill figure which dates back some 3,000 years. Jack follows the Ridgeway, an ancient trackway described as Britain's oldest road. Travellers have walked the Ridgeway for at least 5,000 years. It links numerous prehistoric sites, including the one to which Jack is heading, Wayland Smithy. Wayland Smithy is a Neolithic tomb built around 3700 BC. It's named for Wayland the Smith, a god who probably arrived with the Anglo-Saxons. Local legend says that if a silver coin and a horse are left by Wayland Smithy overnight, the horse will be shot in the morning and the coin will be gone. In the treachery of beautiful things, Wayland Smithy represents a doorway to another place, a world of a different kind of magic made of fire and iron. It's a place where Jack has no business going. When I was a child, we went to visit Wayland Smithy and the White Horse at Uffington, and I think the seeds of this story could have been planted then. While researching the treachery of beautiful things, I dragged my family back there as well. The oldest places and the oldest stories are still as strong and magical as ever. Come and get lost in the realm.